This is Rebel Therapist, a podcast for entrepreneurs who are trained as therapists and who want to level up their businesses, make a bigger impact, feel fulfilled, and be very well paid. I'm your host, Annie Schusler. Before I jump into the episode, I want to tell you that my container, Create Your Program, is the process where I walk you step-by-step through envisioning and creating your high-touch, highly valuable, and unique program so you can start making money in a new way. And early access enrollment is open right now until Tuesday, June 25th, so just this week. The small group live calls are going to start in September. But if you enroll this week, you're also going to get over two months of early access to the curriculum. And you're also going to get lifetime access to a key bonus training about how to fill your program. So go over to rebeltherapist.me slash create to learn more about the program and enroll. Also, I'm hosting a free open house and Q&A where I'm going to talk about how Create Your Program works. I'm going to give you some examples of programs that folks have recently created in Create Your Program, and you're going to just get to ask me anything. I would love to meet you and learn more about what you're hoping to do with your business. Tell me about your particular situation, and we can talk about whether CYP might be a good fit for you or not. And that's happening this Thursday, June 20th at 11 a.m. Pacific. Head over to rebeltherapist.me slash open to get your spot or get the recording if you can't make it live. This is going to be a short episode and it's really about you giving yourself permission to do the work that's going to feel most joyful and sustainable for you. I'm going to talk about two different roles that we might choose for ourselves as therapists, healers, and coaches. One is a catalyst who helps people through a big and clear change in a particular area of their lives. And the other is an integrator who helps people to grow and maintain changes over a long period of time in many areas of their lives. So I know that there's a lot of overlap and nuance between these two roles, but I'm gonna talk about them as two roles for the sake of clarity. One big reason the therapists I work with wanna create signature programs beyond private practice is because they wanna shift what role they're in at least part of the time. They want to be in the role of catalyst more of the time, and they want to be in the role of long-term integrator less of the time. They're feeling over full on the long-term work of helping their clients day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. And they value that long-term work and they're honored to get to do it, but they're afraid that if they keep doing that long-term work full-time, they're going to burn out or maybe they're just not going to love it as much. So in the programs that they create, they want to be in the role of short-term change catalyst. They want to step further into their role as a teacher, a presenter, a facilitator, and they want to create a container that moves participants through a process of profound growth in a particular area that they really care about. So the topics of these programs range from career to sexuality to relationships to parenting, to money, to business, to particular life experiences like divorce and grief and new parenthood and on and on. I'm going to actually give you a few examples of some of those programs in just a few minutes. So these programs are time limited. Usually they're limited to a number of weeks or maybe even a retreat that lasts a few days. And it is so satisfying to watch people have big insights and make big changes and progress in your program. And it can feel good to shift the balance of your work life and be in the role of long-term integrator less of the time. But I notice this thing, when folks are getting ready to create their signature program, they sometimes think, well, hold on a minute. Even if I help people create a lot of change quickly, it's really maintaining those changes that matters, and that takes long-term work. It's not just about one and done. So then, is my program really valuable enough if it doesn't help people through the long-term maintenance of the change that we create? So I want to say yes. The focused change your program creates is highly valuable. Both kinds of work are totally valuable and necessary. Neither kind of work is more or less valuable. As a therapist, And you might know, I was a therapist for 20 years. 
I was trained with a bit of either or thinking about this. I remember learning that real change takes time and rapid change is probably fleeting. And maybe for therapists, this is a little bit of a defensive stance. Sometimes the long-term subtler work of a therapist is not given enough credit because it's less obvious than the change that can happen at something like a retreat or a workshop. But you, my friend, are not going to devalue that long-term work. And you might not always want to do that long-term work yourself. You can choose to run a time-limited program and you can encourage your participants to keep doing their long-term work or to begin long-term work after they're done with your program. Let's think about this for a moment from the participant's point of view. When a topic really matters to me personally, I want to work with someone who's obsessed with that topic for a period of time. I want to be held in a process where I'm going to get to focus on that topic and that topic only. I want a curated experience that was designed to help me make a significant change. So I'm going to give you an example of when I've made this choice. I was a participant last year in Deb Benfield's program, Aging with Vitality and Body Liberation. So as a 52-year-old who has a body, I loved the idea of putting myself in Deb's hands to go through a big transformative experience over eight weeks. I wanted to deprogram myself from ageism and step further into body liberation. And I knew that Deb is an expert in both of these areas. And at this point, she's really one of the only people who is really a badass and knowledgeable in both areas. So in the Venn diagram of body liberation and pro-aging, you find Deb and very few others in that intersection. And she was a grad of my programs, so I knew her work really well and I trust her. In taking Deb's program, I wanted to have a focused experience to bring about some big changes in my perspective and to jumpstart a process that could serve me for the rest of my life as I continue to age and have a body for as long as I'm lucky enough to do so. And that is what I got out of the experience. I had already read a book on pro-aging, and I had done a lot of work, years of work around body liberation. And yet, within the first session, interacting with Deb and the small group and going through her curated process, I had some insights that shifted my trajectory permanently. And focusing for eight weeks on this topic meant I was really able to stay on this topic and make progress. So could I have gone into individual long-term work instead? Not really. I wouldn't have had the curated experience and the education that Deb can provide. And I would have been busy in any long-term work I was doing. I would have been busy integrating all the other areas of my life as a parent, a partner, a business owner, a friend, and a person healing from childhood trauma. So I benefited from the container being all about this one big change. And of course, I integrate it into my long-term growth. You better bet that even though the eight weeks have been over for quite a while, from time to time, whenever anything comes up around aging, health, food, or bodies, I always say, well, Deb Benfield would say. And so now I take those insights and all of that transformation that happened over those eight weeks, and I integrate them long-term. I want to share a few more examples of programs that folks in the most recent cohort of Create Your Program have created. So all of these are designed to bring about big changes in a particular area of life over a short period of time. And all of them are on topics that are profoundly important to the creator of the program and of course to the participants. And all of these are delivered live by the creator of the program. Aliza Septimus created an anxiety relief program to help people manage worrying thoughts, calm their bodies, and confidently face things they tend to avoid. Elena Jake created Not Just a Pet, and that's a program to help people navigate the loss or the impending loss of a pet and find their own unique way through the grief. Selena Bambik created a program to help young adults struggling with social anxiety to build confidence so they can form relationships. Ali Schaefer created Wandering in Spain, a retreat for women who are ready to experience transformation through exploration and engagement with nature. 
and Emily Germain created Connected Relationships, a program for busy, motivated couples who are struggling with disconnection. So I'm going to be sharing more of these examples in future episodes because I love to brag on what our grads have created. And I know it's one of the things that you ask me for the most. You want examples of programs. All right. So if you still find yourself wondering, is it okay to be just the change catalyst? Is it okay to take people through a valuable time-limited process and then let them go on to get other kinds of support to maintain that change? Well, if you're still asking yourself that, maybe there's some part of you that tells you that you kind of have to suffer. Like if you're not loving the long-term work, but you think you got to keep doing it full-time, I would ask yourself that. Maybe there's a part of you that holds back from giving you permission to work in the way that you're going to find most joyful and sustainable. So if that even just might be the case, I want to encourage you to really sit with that belief and see if your wisest self really agrees with that. And I'm going to bet that it does not. (laughs) All right. Remember that this week is the time to enroll and create your program to get early access to the curriculum all summer long. So you can hit the ground running when we start our live calls in September. And you're going to get a bonus training to help you fill your program. So head over to rebeltherapist.me slash create. I can't wait to support you. All right. I'll see you next time. I want to thank Ames Palms for editing this podcast. If you found this episode supportive, please do a couple of things. Share it with your favorite therapist or healer. That is absolutely the most important way we reach more people. And if you haven't already, please hit follow and give us five stars. That is so helpful to this podcast. And thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time.